What's going on everybody? John with John's Record Rack, back to do another video. Today's video is going to be another vinyl rip. This will be my, I guess, we're at the end of June, so my June uh, album of the month, the album that I've been listening to the most. I skipped May. Um, May was, I did that um, grunge project, so that took most of May, took most of my time when I was... Uh, not traveling for work so I did not have a May album of the month so but back on schedule uh, so for this month uh, I think the last one we did was uh, metal if I'm not mistaken and so for today's uh, rip we're going to do jazz again I'm gonna switch it up it's not gonna be traditional jazz um, we're going to dig into the fusion era an early fusion era and the album today and that I've been listening to all month is Chick Corea Return to Forever this is uh, the first Return to Forever album um, this was still billed as basically a solo album for him um, but this would be the last one that uh, would be billed just as you know Chick Corea the subsequent albums after this one that he did with the Return to Forever lineup, which there were many different lineups, but a lot of these players that are on here were also on a lot of the other albums. But the the later albums, the titles of the you know the artist would be something like you know Return to Forever featuring Chick Corea. Um, so this was the only one that was you know billed as just him, but it is the Return to Forever band, the classic Return to Forever lineup. Uh, you know, for many of you who don't know, I'm sure you've probably heard the name Chick Corea. He's one of the classic jazz players. Um, he was in, you know, he played with Miles Davis late in the late 60s. Um, you know, kind of starting off a very eclectic, uh, different style of player. While he does have some traditional jazz stuff, uh, you know, most of his stuff and most of the stuff that he became known for were uh, records like this you know jazz fusion he's he's one of the pioneers really of that genre um, him Herbie Hancock uh, Joe Zawinul Wayne Shorter those guys who would go on and do fusion stuff in Herbie's case the headhunters of the 70s and then of course Joe and and Wayne Shorter went on to do weather report uh, Return to Forever, Chick Corea was, were, you know, he was right there along with those other pioneers. But those, all those guys, one thing they have in common is they all came out of uh, Miles Davis's fusion era. Think uh, Bitches Brew, think uh, In a Silent Way. All these, those guys, including Chick, uh, came from that uh, Davis lineup. So you could see the kind of the, the direction that Miles was going. So these guys took that and took it even further. So um, with that said, I understand not everybody likes fusion. I have a lot of friends who are jazz purists and they can't stand fusion at all. So I understand that maybe Chick Corea and Return to Forever is not for everybody. It's not listening for everybody. Um, it's definitely an acquired taste if you're more of a traditionalist. But I encourage you to give it a good listen, not just my rip that I'm going to do here in a, in a second, but uh, seek it out for yourself. Um, I promise it'll evoke some sort of uh, feeling. Uh, it does for me. It's uh, hard to describe, actually, when listening to this record. But, um, yeah, so this first, the song that I'm going to share with you is... The song "Return to Forever" is a track. It's the first track on this, on side one, and is titled "Return to Forever." It's kind of a long, uh, winding track. I think it's 12 minutes in in total. So I want to get right to this as quickly as possible. But um, when you're listening to it, just you'll understand what I mean, especially if you start to get into it. It's it almost transports me to somewhere else. It's hard to describe. It's a very ethereal, atmospheric feeling when I'm listening to this, especially this first track, Return to Forever. But um, amazing track. The players on here alone, 
uh, Chick Corea, of course, Joe Farrell, who's doing flutes and sa- soprano sax. You have Flora Piram, who does vocals. In fact, um, I think starting kind of in the middle of the of the track, and then of course towards the end, she has these insane vocals, screeches, screams. Uh, she's amazing. I love Flora, but it's um, they're they're insane. And you'll see what I mean when you when you hear it. And then, of course, on bass, you have Stanley Clark. I mean, guy's a one of the best bass players ever. And then also on drums and more percussion is Erto Morea. Um, so, I mean, this is a who's who in jazz fusion. Um, all these players on here are unbelievable. So, without further ado, I would like to share with you Chick Corea, the first track on Return to Forever, titled Return to Forever. Enjoy. Hope everybody uh, has a good week and we'll talk soon. <laughs> 